There's no doubt Lauren Bacall is one of the greatest Hollywood female stars. Lauren Bacall was born Betty Joan Persky on September 16, 1924, in New York City. After working as a model and appearing on the cover of Harper's Bazaar in 1943, she was discovered by the wife of Howard Hawks and brought to Hollywood. Lauren Bacall became a star at a very young age and she exuded sophistication and class and always seemed wise beyond her years. When Bacall was only 19, she was cast opposite Humphrey Bogart in To Have and Have Not and shot to fame as the femme fatale with the husky voice and sultry looks. Although Bogie was married and 25 years older, Bacall fell in love with him and the two married the following year. What made Lauren Bacall so good in To Have and Have Not was what was defined as the look. She didn't have to say anything. She had those eyes that were kind of half shut, that hair that kind of fell down a little over her face. And for that time period, she just exuded a kind of sexuality that was really electric. Bogie and Bacall became a hallmark Hollywood romance. The couple starred in three more films during the 40s, including The Big Sleep, Dark Passage, and John Huston's Key Largo. The marriage continued until Bogart died of lung cancer in 1957. I think the Bogie Bacall relationship is the best Hollywood romance, and you see it not so much in their performances together, but in the way she cared for him as he got sick through the 1950s, the way she traveled with him on his shoots just because she wanted to be there with him. Although Bacall put a hold on her career during her marriage, she appeared in several major films, including the 1953 smash hit How to Marry a Millionaire with Marilyn Monroe and Designing Woman with Gregory Peck in 1957. How to Marry a Millionaire is about three attractive women who are roommates and they're looking for somebody rich and it's Betty Grable who's earthy, Marilyn Monroe who's sexy, Lauren Bacall as always, is sophisticated, and they fit together really well. McCall married Jason Robarts in 1961, and during that era, she turned to Broadway. McCall received two Tony Awards for Best Actress in the musicals Applause and Woman of the Year. In 1978, she wrote a best-selling memoir entitled By Myself, and followed up with a second autobiography in 1994. Lauren's memoir By Myself was a big hit because it was frank, she talked about all of her relationships with people like Frank Sinatra, obviously Bogie, and her films and experiences through the years. She even wrote other books after that because she kept remembering, thankfully, more stories. During the 80s and 90s, Bacall co-starred in TV movies and films, including The Portrait, Misery, and Barbara Streisand's The Mirror Has Two Faces, for which she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. I never think of Lauren Bacall as just a beauty. I see enormous talent in the four movies she made with her husband and the romantic comedy, How to Marry a Millionaire. And then when you move into the later part of her career, again, you see this actress of great depth. One of my great regrets is never seeing Lauren Bacall on Broadway. In honor of her work, Bacall received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1991 and an honorary Academy Award in 2009. Lauren Bacall was also heralded by AFI as one of the 25 most significant female movie stars of all time.